Hey guys, so today I am going to be talking to you about why my playmat should be reprinted. So this is a playmat that I've had on my channel from the very beginning, from the very get-go, this was the playmat. And if you notice, the artwork is the same artwork for the Vintage Masters Collection, especially these five. I'm not sure if this is the artwork for the Mox Diamond, but I know this is the artwork for the the different moxes, the really expensive moxes. And hopefully you can read this, but I'll read it for you. Congratulations with over 6,000 entries. Osha Pro is pleased to announce that you have been chosen as one of the top 250 winners in our recent Magic the Gathering mox promotion. You won a limited edition numbered, uh, so it's numbered to 250. Star City Games has a few of these. It did sell its a very expensive one, which it's pretty much... Uh, there was one for like $700, but it was like near mint, and it was framed in a very cool case. And I was kind of looking at that one. I was like, oh, that's awesome. Uh, but a near mint one with this information on it goes for $500 on Star City Games. That's too much. Um, the fact that there's only 250 of these from like, what, 2000 and... 2006, 2011, but this was some time ago, so I'm assuming that some other playmats have been lost, or they have been damaged, or something bad has happened to them. And yeah, this is a gorgeous playmat, so I don't, I'm going to zoom in, I never zoom in because I'm so bad at it, but it is just one of the most beautiful playmats you can ever imagine, and it's because of this part. So I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little bit of blue. There's kind of a, a little blue finish, and it's so unique. I've never seen a playmat with this particular fit, and that's not like I painted over it. Or it the playmat actually just has that, and that's what makes it kind of unique as a playmat. I've never seen that uh, textured before. And it's overall a very, very beautiful playmat, but for 500 bucks, I don't know if anyone can actually buy this playmat, right? Like. 500 bucks is too much for a play, play mat, and I would want, as one of the owners of this play mat, I assume there's going to be less than 100 owners, I would, wouldn't be surprised if there was only 50 owners and most of them were stores, like Star City Games, which owns four of these. I know they have two on eBay, and then they have a few in their store, but I don't know if they are the same ones. But I would want people to have this play mat. Um, I, I love it. And it's a very beautiful playmat. Maybe like without the limited edition, it could just like say like this. It would tank the price of it. Yes. If they mass produced this playmat, would the price not be five hundred dollars anymore? Yes, it would not be five hundred dollars anymore. But again, I'm okay with that. I'm absolutely okay with that. If that means more players can have this playmat and play with it, and I mean it. I cannot tell you how beautiful this playmat is until you actually see it in person. And the real bad part about this is you're probably never going to see one in person. Uh, just because how expensive it is, why wouldn't anyone bring this to their local card game store unless they were crazy like me. <laughs> but anyway, um, just some of the most, one of the most beautiful items in Magic. And it's just so unfortunate that the more people can't have it. Um, it's absolutely uh and then like the wow like i like every time i look at it it just makes me happy and i just kind of want to share that happiness with some other people so i'm all if you, if this gets reprinted and the price tanks from 500 to 50 dollars then just the fact that people can enjoy the playmat as much as i have uh makes me i it makes up for the price tanking in my personal opinion 